Alright, hello, it is a demon coming back for another round of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So, we ended the last episode. Um, I think a bit shorter than normal, but we got several, a couple of the side missions done here at Batiti. So, with that completed, the new objective is to go to the barracks. To go f where we're going to meet our one friend and try to save the kid and try to go find um i think it's supposed to be that box or whatever i don't know if we're finding it i think we're supposed to locate it now i think it's just supposed to be a key to it a lot of irrigation water Jonah, up here. very good close to the mine entrance oh yeah it's a mine thanks all right so this is the new area which we are seeking here it is all right, there's the find the inner stronghold. Cool. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I remember this part. This part turns into a bit of a bitch. I think I could be wrong, but I think I remember this spot. Cool. Yeah. I need to be careful. Not really. As long as you have a firearm, you're fine. Like I said, once you got your guns, you're perfectly fine. Okay, I can't go that way, so I can go this way. Ooh. Ooh. Heads over here. Pushing over here. Kabuji Kukelani. Tulaka Tugusha. Telu. Teiko. I don't get how neither of them heard that. We're in a goddamn yeah. cave system. They didn't hear me break that. I'm in. Unuratu just left with Hakan. She'll be ready when you open the gate. Alright, so it's here. Now, I don't think while I'm in here, no. I can only change the robes. Uh, really? See, so yeah, that's why I, this is primarily the reason why I don't enjoy this one as much as I used to. Because there's a limit on how many of the outfits you can actually wear. Now it'll have to be like equal to a tribesperson's outfit, so. Yeah, I guess I'll go for the Tunic of Exiled Fox. She is exiled, so let's go and do this. Alright, so where do I go from here? Okay, it looks like I go down to here. Malo <laughs> bin Break his neck. On the right track. Mm. Careful. The ship al chuko so ok wautan tak belama mauka tujal tushkuta kikuba le kushun makobo wok sak hola le nono vale misbalu belal yang koksik tu yo le kukulkal le bejo minha minma. Dead instant. Yeah, be stabbing bitches. All right, let's continue on to the next objective. This looks like the right place. There's the gate I need to open. Try this again. There's the gate I need to open. All right, so let's sit there and see if we can figure this one out. So I think I can come over here. Can use this stuff to get her all set. Grab this. Just trying to use this to our advantage.
Kit Petzabaesh at Sone Shetanil Kubin. To Jok Lalin Wall, a champe Lukoke Sikupole. Yanu Luke, Times like this, run away, fall back to a good corner. Wait. Fuck off. Fuck off. I have a gun. Oh, I do not like the 20. Oh, you little bitch. Do you not like the 21st now, century? Need to open that gate. Bite me. Dumb pricks. This is why I keep guns. It's for your shit. Getting a lot of money off these guys. The gate mechanism might be on the top of that wall. Alright, let's continue on. <laughs> Up here, go up to here, and we are now at the next objective. <laughs> Open sesame. Acting all tactical and shit with the little bows and arrows. It's a meme at this point. Come on. Got him out, but Unaratu was captured. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm going after the box. I don't know how long it'll take. Do what you have to. Thanks. Alright, so. The Eye of the Serpent. That's it. My ass. Use that to do the climby climbies, to then go down to here, to then jump over to there. Oh yeah. It's really nice they took out that quick time event to hit E every time. Like, I kinda liked it. Not really. I don't know if you could really say you like it or not. It was okay, it was like that, it was like a little thing you always had to be prepared for and it made it fun. Also, always be careful how much you do that, because you can actually die real easy in this game. Jump down. Big repel, repel. Divey, divey. And... Yeah. Okay, that's how far down I was able to get. Whoa, the textures got weird, getting weird. So, where do I go from here? I don't think I can dive there. Is that water down there? 
Ah, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Blast! Alright, so now we're in this area. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Continue on with the mission. Divey divey. Oh yeah. Ooh. I got Unaratu captured. What's Dominguez gonna do with her? As long as he needs the box, he'll keep her alive. <sighs> Any weapon upgrades? Not really. I hope. It'll be nice when I can get back to my other outfits. Alright, so where do we go from here? I think we go in here. 26th of November, 1603. At dinner, Lopez asked me if I believed these heathens were worthy of the artifact's alleged power. I had to admit that the Pytetians seemed noble and industrious. However, their taut skin stretched tight over sinewy muscles, and lack of shame made them more similar to beasts. And what of our leaders in the society? He then asked. Should they be able to wave their perfumed and ring fingers in any direction and expect us to obey? To return and sit at their side when they beckon? Do they not treat us as inferior beings, as beasts as well? I had no answer. What he'd said was heresy and treason, but in some way, I wondered if it wasn't the truth. Yeah. So that's actually a pretty good journal entry for that, because it tells you that each side thinks this, the other one is a piece of garbage and that they're weird and inhumane. Who made these things? Crazy bitches. It's not Maya or Inca. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. It's high. Then I could die. Yay, no broken cankles. This is incredible. I do love the color of the water in this game though, it's so nice. The colors are always the colors for this game always stand out. Alright, let's head down to here. Again, I want to be kind of careful because I don't know if we're going to run into any piranhas or any of the eels. Doesn't seem like we are. It seems like we're fine. Oh, those fucking gremlins are back. Alright. Well, let's hope for the best, yeah. Climbs. God damn gremlins. Jump you over here. Climb down to here. Do the mighty of the repairing of here. They do the swingy swings. I'll do it one more time just to guarantee it. Alright. Crazy 
bitches. Oh, look at that, a can. 1st of December, 1603. We've entered a cenote not far from the city and set up camp in a small alcove. Lopez has spent the evening staring into the flames, utterly ensorcelled, his dinner untouched. Twice I attempted a conversation, but his silence rebuffed me each time. He is utterly focused on this artifact. If I were a more superstitious man, I would wonder if the artifact is speaking to him directly. The soldiers keep to themselves as well. They seem anxious for battle. One of their dogs stared at me all evening, as though I were to be his next meal. Uh-huh. All right. Heads up here. Then I think she automatically moves without me doing anything. One of them fucking ground ones still running around. Noise. Damn. <laughs> no, it damn ain't. <laughs> what cave made growling noises like that, Laura? Come on. Go for the full jumpy jump. Boy, <laughs> see the funny thing is, is that they don't talk about. It, is if you did fall down there, they don't show you animations or anything like what happens to her. If I had to guess she gets eaten the hell out. Not in a good way. Pia. Hey, look at Hangy Hang. And this is theoretically where you're supposed to get the shotgun from. As I will always say, when you have a shotgun in the game, use the damn thing. These must be the Trinity soldiers who went missing. Alright. I actually wanted to double check that. What upgrades do I actually have for the shotgun done? Padded grip. And an ammo sleeve. Ooh. What do I need for this? I need three skins. This one, three skins. And it's Pretty much done. I think I primarily just need skins at this point. I didn't think I need any. I guess when we go back to the village, I guess I could buy a shit ton of them. I think I have a gold now since I killed so many of those guys and took their money off them. Yeah, that works. Well, yeah. Always keep the shotgun at the ready. See where we're going. So, as I said earlier, gremlins are our goddamn gremlins. Wow. Shit. 
Haha, <laughs> lit your buddy on fire. Duke bitch? Shotgun wins. Almost died, almost died. Got the heals though. So at this point, I'm gonna use this time wisely. I'm gonna grab as much shit off these guys as I can. As we are gonna be in desperate need of some ammo and any other equipment I can grab at this point. I'm always gonna be switching back to my Something's rifle. Blocking this. Something must be blocking the mechanism. Oh yeah. This until it, until it stops and so there we go. Yeah. Need to rotate it myself. Oh. Hold on, hold on. And perfectly fine. I hate the fact that the animation, like, they make the cut animation the same as the swing animation. Fuck off. What are you gonna do against me? I got a goddamn shoddy. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador, to stand guard while we worked on the mechanism. The door began to roll open. Our celebration of success was drastically cut short by the dying screams of Perez. The sound haunts me still. Okay, so I gotta be able to make it down there. I think we climb here. Then we jumpy jump over to here. Climby climb onto this. Use the repelling. And then go down to here. And then we got to do the jumpy jumps. That's fine. Let's do it. Ooh, I don't think she survived that. Somehow I did. All right. Now just 
go back to shotgun. Do I have to actually go in the goddamn deep hole of fucking fortitude or can I climb up? Oh, I remember this area. This area's a bitch. Look at all this. What's behind that door? <sighs> no idea, but we're about to get screwed. I remember this part. This part's a bit of a bitch. Alright. So, first things first, we've now entered this new area. And we have to get these things to move so we can get into the next area to open that door up. But, to do so, we are going to have to duke a lot. You just scream rape. Oh, good thing you're dead. Crazy ass bitch. Alright, so I can zoom in on these. Take out the knees. Check yourself. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. Alright, so this is the part that's an utter bitch. Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. So, what I'm going to recommend is me taking a little bit of ammo. Because what's gonna happen is I'm going to, Have to, get the water flowing to the attach this to this through the magic powers vested within me. I'm now going to move this slowly to the... I want to go to the right. No, I think we want to go over to this side. Somebody might be like, Demon, what are you talking about? Why are you going to move out there? Because I have to get up to that. And I can't move it so I can get that going. I just got to remember how to get up there. Laura, I know you keep saying that, but to be able to get up there... Have to get the water flowing to the wheel. Uh, well, let's do this thingy then. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Ah, how are you guys gonna do them up on the high ground? Na 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 na. So oh, come, wait. come up here. I keep pressing E, but you won't do it now. Do this. Fuck off. God damn little gremlin bitches. Get the water flowing to the wheel. I wish I didn't have a repeat that every time I pressed goddamn Q. I just want to double check that I got everything right. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this one first. So we need it to move to this side. Goddamn gremlins. Put that there. I'm going to switch to the assault rifle. Also, in case anybody wants to know, if you ever get trapped here and you feel like you're getting, um, they're closing in too quickly and you may or may not be able to kill them, you do have options for this fighting, 
this for this fight. So, if you get stuck in a situation where you think you can't win, that's how you do it. You once you get, pretty much once you jump in the water, they can't really get to you anymore. So, I usually just want to show that just so people can see that there is a way to get away from them. Because I know when I played this originally, I think I got stuck. Well, I didn't get stuck, but um, I got stuck in a situation where they did kill me the first time, and I was trying to find out a way of getting away from them. And I accidentally fell in the water while trying, while a couple of them chased me, and then they quit attacking you. Well, maybe quit attacking you isn't the right word, but for the most part, they'll leave you alone. Okay, that's the way I came from, right? That's not where I need to go. Okay. Now I gotta remember how to get to the next area. Two doors, of course. But this must be the last one. Ooh, what's in here? The Garvey carved, that's free shit. Do I have to go further under to be able to get to the next area? Yes. Alright, there we go. I was curious by that because I couldn't remember how to get over to here. Same thing as the other side has, we are going to be duking it some more. So what I want to do first is I want to move this thing in this direction. Good. This is promising. Now you might say, Dino, why are you going to move out here? So I can go under here and do this. Because if you don't have any water in this area, it won't allow you to destroy this. Um, so you have to dump the water in here to be able to get access to it. Combat to my wind, bitch. Fuck off. Seems like I'm fine now. So we want this thing to go right about here. Grab this thingy. Tilt that to the right. All the gremlins. Look at their dumb little asses. They're going real. I wouldn't be sitting there.
They didn't enter. Thank God they didn't damn enter. These figures, they look like those creatures, but they're graceful. They're shield, goddesses of protection. The silver box of Ishal was forged in paradise and brought to earth. Did those creatures make the box? Neither false gods nor zealots shall be allowed to pass. They're protecting it. Is that why they fought me so viciously? Here they keep the box until the sun's renewal. Here. It has to be here. Clips and a heron, like the tattoos on Inaratu's arm. But where's the box? Oh no, a foreshock. In case of this, you run like the wind. Kapuya. Yui. So in the case of this, I can't actually force her to sprint sprint. She's like stuck in her own shite. However, I do have a shotgun. God damn gremlins. here. Now you guys didn't see me fall on that one, but I got kind of, I kind of got stuck in a situation where there's physically nothing for me to do in that. Kapuya. Yeah, so the death I had, you guys won't see, mainly because there was nothing I could do to stop it. I jumped to that thing and then immediately got shot by an arrow and Lori decided to fall and die. So as much as I didn't want to die, there was nothing I could literally do to stop it from happening. Alright, swim up here, take the here. I think we're almost out already. Yeah, this looks like where I gotta be at. The hidden city. Perfectly fine. <coughs> Finally, I made it. Kapuya. Alright, now I gotta remember how to get through here. Is there anything here I need to grab? Can't remember if there's a campsite or anything. Well, might as well grab some of this shit. Alright. I think to get up to the next area, I gotta go climby climby. Alright, so now I know where I'm at. And then you jump over to here, climb. Then get up a little bit higher than you think, and then jump. And then she's fine. 
And the big question is going to be... Where do I go? From here. It doesn't really give me too many indicators. Oh! I climb over here. Okay. I just happened to randomly ran over here and accidentally did this. Alright. Man, somebody got messed up. I can use these to climb out of here. Oh, so this is that climbing gear stuff, that's right. So she'll attach it to her shoes. That way you can walk up the walls a little bit easier than what you originally were doing. Well, not easier, but it allows you to run up another section of the wall. So, overhang climbing gear. Go booyah. So, what you do is you come back up here. You go to the same area you were already at, so you gotta come over to here, hit E, and now all of a sudden, now I forgot about this, but now I can jump, press E, and now Laura has the ability to climb up here. So it's kind of like when we did the beginning mission, if you remember right, except we didn't climb all that much, you primarily just jumped. But this is how you get to the next area, so press W to exit hang hangs, and press space to jump. And now she can climb up on other sections. I thought this was actually really neat climbing gear. I actually liked it. And then with that, you just run up here, and I think we're almost. I think we're pretty much out of here now. Climby climb. Jumpy jump. Climby climbs. Yeah, because if you don't have the gear, I think what ends up happening is she just falls off. Like, she'll, I think she might hang for a second, but that's about as much as she can do. And then that's when you fall off and die. Although not in a million years would I be doing this shit. One misplaced E and death awaits you. People like to do this wall climbing and mountain climbing shit. Nah, I prefer, I prefer my feet on the ground. I don't like usually climby climbs. Oh, no, we can do this. And then... Kapuya. I think I can make it on the jump. I don't think I need to do the... Yeah. Got it. Yes. <laughs> Alright, another section of the map. The only thing I will say I don't enjoy about this part is the fact they pretty much forcibly make you do this thing. Like, they put- they drag this out a little too much with the, like, new climbing gear. At least in my opinion. I like the climbing gear, but I hate the fact that I have to use it this much already. So now let's sit there and see. I think we come over to I'll here. I'll have to jump. There's no other way. By the way. All right. Only took three attempts because I had to get lucky on throwing this correctly. That was exciting. So let's go and continue on. <laughs> Climb over here. Hopefully that's the last of the climbing shit I got to do. Alright, gotta go low, low, low. Alright, that's destroyed. Now, as I said before, you always gotta be careful of the piranhas. I'm gonna go for a quick hit on this. Cause I need to get to the water. <laughs> uh, 
All right, nearly out. There's the place. There we go. We're nearly out, boys. Look at it. Look at it. I'm actually able to do it. All right. Now, swim fast, Laura. All right. Put all the weapons away. Now, you do sit there and see that. Oh, wow, and they actually put the armor away, too, so I gotta go back to this outfit. That's fun. Whatever those things are, doesn't really matter while they're chasing you. Who left those carvings of the heron and the eclipse? I have to talk to Unaratu about them. I'm gonna go for an extended mag. Fire speed, yes. This I need six black powder. I need an extra skin to get the grip. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go on a hunt for some skin. I need a bad now. All right, I think there's a couple traders here I can go and ask. Let's just run, 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 run into town. I want to see if I can find any of them. Because we know we have the one lady, we have two different ladies we can buy the stuff off of. Two separate traders. I'm here. We're not at Unaratus. We're in a cave nearby. The entrance is marked with a heron and an eclipse. On my way. I think... Where was she at? I mean, this wasn't the right way. Am I on the other side? No. Eh, screw it, we'll come back to it. Let's just continue on our merry way. Support. Do you have it? It was a trap. The box was taken and Unaratu was captured. We heard. We're working on a plan. She's being held at the prison by the old temple. Akan led a raid and was taken too. We'll charge the bridge that leads to the prison. It's aggressive. What if I climb up here? Free her, and then signal to attack. That could work. Let's leave scouting the temple in the upper district. You can find your way in. I'll go talk to him. We'll have backup ready once you get her out. Sounds good. For strength and safety. Thank you. Laura. I'll get her out. Do it on the boogeyman now. Purchasing the pillar. New missions waiting for you to discover the secrets of the pillar. You can access mission side missions. Ah, so I did get access to a new mission. I don't have enough space for that. Have more rebels been captured? Ishik, mashani kubeite lingwantah. Tintu stak hotul mag te aluyopol, utsonop u akilich kunesahil kukulkan, yale batel tambalilo, vale ma beichaki. Tu gel kinove, ten gel in holpesikop kachile, vale, belama tu beita limbatel, mish al kab kin beita limbetik, kulekel insene kin tubik kik, vale la ilimalov aksol nukene, o abei kachil tak bela. Chukin wet bisak by love, kakachop ti cheop, uchil tu laka le kaho, te alupek sak olo, te kumpa te lob taken kimikobi. You said I might be able to help. Ha, jete lubuke sak, beish kananti le kano, helu hal kaptikobe bello, mishmak kun tu kultik tech petej. Four, you said there were five men on the mission. Ha, kolki hol pesikop kachi, vale machuk hel bish ulakobu. Mishmak Kailech, 
Min masha ni ki misabi. I'll see what I can do. All right. All right. So what else do we have here? I can do. Got his side mission. I think. Am I wrong to say there's a campsite somewhere in here? I thought there was a campsite. There's the campsite. All right. I should have done something. it for that stuff all right so i think with that i believe i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right yeah so it's been about an hour i think i'm gonna be done recording for the day i got some stuff i gotta get taken care of it i didn't get done yesterday so i actually have to cut my recordings a bit shorter than i was expecting um hopefully sometime I don't know if I'll have time next week. I gotta see what my work schedule is. I can actually check it right now. Um, no, I won't really have any time next week to record. So if I get any free time in between here and then, until pretty much Friday, I gotta wait till next Friday before I can really record. And I'm probably gonna go all out on this game that day because I have to. So um, yeah, that sucks. Um, I might have to, I might have some time later to do some smaller episodes. Maybe I'll do Death Road to Canada. If I do some Death Road to Canada, maybe I can do that, and that can be some filler episodes for a bit. Because um, I, I got some stuff I got to get done. I don't know how long I'm gonna be. If I see that I have an hour in between when I got to get stuff done, I have no problem coming back and doing another episode of this. Otherwise, I'm pretty much stuck where I'm at. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'm doing a 30-minute episode or some filler episodes, which I can happily do. So, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. As you guys seen, we were able to basically escape. We found out the silver box was taken. It makes you curious as what the hell was going on. So, uh, please do those things, guys. I'll see you guys in the next round of Shadow of Tomb Raider. See you all then. Bye.